because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we're going to talk about natural gas. I focused, focused it on this, <laughs> excuse me, folks, in the uh, uh, video that I sent out early this morning, around 1.30 in the morning, and we were looking what the markets were doing, and I said, there's a big ABCD up here at uh, 340. 339. So it looks like it's going to be a sale. And Gord, we've had one heck of a reversal here in the last hour. So you can see here, there's a three drive to a top pattern. There's the 339 area. There's your little three drive. Boom, bang, bang. And look where it is right now. So it's acting pretty good. The best one on the day, though, folks, believe me, for easy money was, and these are the easiest one to trade, was the um, British pound. There was the break. You see, this is just the last couple of days. There's your rally back. Perfect. Look, there's your 382, your first 382. There's your second 382. But it took longer to do that one because it took uh, just about uh, half a day. You'll see, just draw it in, and there it was right there. It's your old 382. And down she came. And what did it do? It's getting close to one of its big objectives down in here. So if you draw that in here, You'll see you got a little bit more to go, and that might be it for a while, folks. There would be down at 125 is what it would be watching here in this market right now. In fact, we've had a, this probably a 3A2 also looking at this. Not too short a time frame, but we'll look at it just for kicks and giggles because we're going to be doing this live trading stuff tomorrow. I hope you can join us. Today we had one hell of a day, folks. I'll show you some of the ones that we were watching uh, on just on the, just using ABCD that's that's all we were looking at today uh, the best one of course was the Treasury bonds there were two really good trades here in the Treasury bond you'll see the first one this morning you made a perfect ABCD right here and went up and, and made your first profit objective right here five hundred dollars if you waited there was your ABCD on the upside and look what's happened on the downside it dropped and not only that it confirmed that it was pretty good because just looking at this on a shorter time frame you'll see and this is 13 minutes one of the most largest things traded over here there's your there's your abcd right there all right it's only down 300 bucks from that spot as you can see it's starting to break down and that tells us that we're probably going to come down here 150 folks there's something wrong in the treasury bond and treasury note market folks it should be rallying and it's not this is not a good thing and i don't think that that's a, a good thing for stocks either i've had several questions this morning does this alter the uh, my bearishness no what would alter my bearishness folks if the s p 500 gets above uh 60 uh, 60 excuse Excuse me, 60, uh, 60, 50, or yeah, 60, 50. Then I would say, yes, I'm full of baloney. Never listen to, well, never listen to me again. I know you guys aren't going to do that because we're right more than we're wrong. And, you know, we try to keep our losses as, as near as we can tell. Now, let's take a look here at crude oil for just a second because this has been a really nice one today. There's our move that we were looking at this morning. And this was early in the morning. I just get this, it's up here to, Take a look at it. Now, what we're doing now is we're seeing crude oil bouncing back, okay, to a 382 retracement off of this last low right in here. Now, this pattern that you're looking at right here is the 135 pattern. There's one, three, and five. Now, the three things that you have to have is let me turn this off because uh, I don't want it to beep too much. But uh, here's where we are. We'll get over here and we're going to measure the. The first thing you do is you see that you have three lower highs just like this, okay? And you want to see that they measure pretty close to being correct in time. That doesn't make any difference whether it's a four-hour chart or whatever it happens to be. This is off by just a few points. But look, there's your A, B, C, D to the downside right here. Just spot on. There's Let's just draw it in so you folks can see it. There's your A, B, C, D right here. 
you rally up to right there, you go a little bit below it, and then you rally up. And as you can see here, that we're heading down right now. Now we're having a good rally here. So what you want to do is you want to go and look at your, move this out of the way. You want to see what the 382 retracement is going to be on the way back up. That's what I was trying to put there from the high down to the low. And we're coming into that just very very shortly here at 77 so if you believe in 382s and we do there would be the spot that if you wanted to take a nibble at the short side you don't have to risk much at that point 69.77 that's four ticks away we're going to get filled on that and just a heartbeat your stop would have to be above this level right here but the the trend has now started down now we're rallying back up you can measure the ABCD any way you want, but it's done what it's supposed to do. There's AB equals CD right on the money, and now we're having to rally back. This is going to turn, tell us whether this is going to be correct or not. All right? So that's one of the things you want to be watching. And the gold market, rock and rolling. There'll be no trolling. Let's take a look at this one, folks. We said early in this morning this market should make 27.78 is what we're looking at. Let's look at the uh, hourly chart here. Actually, this is the AI program. I just wanted to show you uh, there. We just hit the number in the uh, in the old crude oil. So let me just get this moved around here, and we'll see if. Uh, if, see if it's going to work. First, I've got to turn this darn uh, – uh, hold on. I've got to turn the uh, tile vertical. I've got to turn off the beeper. Otherwise, it's going to drive me crazy there. Just got filled there at 78. All right. And now we're, we're going to take a look and go back to look at that gold chart right here because we were looking at this on the hourly chart. Uh, this morning and uh, we said it had a really strong probability look at this folks you, you you believe in 382s look at this there's a 382 off of the bottom right here look perfect 382 perfect 382 look at your 1.618 number where it should stop 2678 okay now let's just play the devil's advocate and look at it on the four hour just to see if there's anything else up there that would make it look interesting at that level. So there's the big move down. See that? This thing just, well, let's see. Let's see how close it measured to the big move. And I, I know it was very close, 2640. Oh, shucks. Hold on just a minute here. Get rid of that. <clears throat> Clean out some of this stuff to show you. This is the price objective that we were looking for was to come down to this level right here, which was uh, 2564. We got as low as 2540 uh, on that move down, and now we've had this run up. And what we want to do now is we want to do some measuring here just to see where we are from the last high. And that was this big one right back here. So you come down and check and see where you are. And uh, we were, we're looking at 2078, uh, but we don't have anything here till 2690 on the four hour. So it's only this smaller time frame that we're looking at to come in at that level up there at uh, 2678. And that would be, uh, I believe that was an hourly chart that we were, uh, maybe not. Let's just double check. Yes, it was hourly. There it is right there. We should have some resistance on that just because of this move right here. So that's uh, that's the main thing. To, but these three eight twos, folks, they've just been they've just been bonsai, in my opinion. So let's take a look here. What's going on here with these markets? And we'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. I want to show you the Dow Jones Industrial last night. This was at 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay, I, I sent out a thing earlier in the morning I saying that it had a really good chance to making this level right here. But this was the key level. S&P was down about 40 handles at that point, uh, trading at 59.05. And uh, I, was, I happened to see this small ABCD pattern right here. But watch this, folks. If you, if you want to really believe in 382 patterns, there's your low. There's your ABCD leg, and there's your – look at that. It's exactly 382 right there to the tick, and there it is again right there to the tick. In other words, from this low to this high to that low is 382 of this whole move right here. That's what you're looking at, and boy, did it ever take off. So let's look at it from a technical standpoint. There's our spot right here. And, of course, we've gone – there's your 382 right here. And we've gone way above the 1.618, haven't we? We're way above the 618 here. Stop and think, folks. The Dow Jones rallied 300 points, okay? It dropped 300 points, and then it rallied 600 points. This is unbelievable action. This means that maybe the bull market is here to stay, and it's never going to go down. And maybe that's true. And also, it doesn't look like my trade in the S. Or the uh, uh, it's already going to be. It's probably going to get stopped out. I sold this at 77. My stop is up here at 01. So if I lose, I'll lose 300 bucks. But I didn't get it bought down here because it, it would happen so fast. I couldn't do much with it. So this is a short term trade. But and it's not going to be there very long. That's for sure. <laughs> but that's trading, boys and girls. Sometimes it's winners. Sometimes it's losers. But that's the way it's all about. So. So we'll wait and see till whether it works or not and not worry too much about it. But the British pound 
one was a beautiful trade that we had. The bond trades, we had two really nice trades in the bonds. We missed the gold by just a little bit, and um, but we'll see uh, what happens over long. The natural gas was a – look at the natural gas, folks. This thing really had – oh, we have a little uh, – there, the natural gas is broken now. Let's see if it may rally back. It's going to be a 382. Same process. So you take your high down to your low, and that would come in here at 32. So that's up about seven by this is wild action. So this is going to be an important 382 after that move uh, right here. So when you're only risking five dollars on something, folks, and you make a thousand, that's two to one in your favor. So you want to be booking profits on uh, something like that. So my, my answer to the question is if the Dow, if that, if, excuse me, the S&P 500 futures get back to that uh, 60, uh, 50 area, then I am have, have to go back to using moving averages that I haven't used in a few years. But uh, anyway, sometimes the patterns work. Sometimes they don't. That's the bottom line. You don't know. Sometimes they you know do work and sometimes they don't. That's the main thing of what we're paying close attention to here. Now, we've been asked to take a look at uh, Tesla. Let me get this up here. What a big surprise that is. <clears throat> There's Tesla right here. It should be up like the rest of the month. It's not even doing very much. Let's get it out of the way here. This, wow, it's very, very, look at this tight range, just 3 or $4 in Tesla, it doesn't make any sense. And the other one was about NVIDIA because of, uh, uh, um, what do you call it, the earnings and stuff, which, well, the market reacted to it positive after all. So we'll just get it up here, look at it here on the hourly, and then we'll move down to a smaller time frame. Wow, having good action. Let's just see what happened today. There was before the report, okay, this was before the report. The, the market backed off. There's the report right here. Okay. The market backed off uh, this morning. Uh, boy, I can't tell whether I can't tell whether the high no the high had to be made first and then the low. So if we go down to the uh, eight hour uh, char, uh, eight minute chart, we'll be able to see that their high was made first. Okay. This was early morning, right on the open, as you can see. And then since that time, the market broke and came right back to the 382 stop so far, but right now it's still looking like it could go, uh, you know, considerably uh, much, much higher. Okay, now let's move over, <clears throat> excuse me, and get over to take a look at the uh, live cattle. Someone asked me about live cattle. We haven't traded in a while. We've been short hog since Hector was a pup, and that's still doing pretty good. But we'll look at the live cattle now for our friend, Leroy Johnson over there in Guayman, Oklahoma. Leroy, God bless you for asking for the question, my friend. Hold on. Here's live cattle. Going to get this up here. And we are rocking and rolling, folks. We've got to get a nice run up here in cattle. Let's just see if we can find a nice little ABCD or something that tells us that, uh, boy, it's not much here. Well, we had a we had a little bit of a move here on this uh, uh, in one day. Let's just double check to see if the old 3A2 came through here on live cattle. We have a big run up, and then it drops uh, – well, it drops two cents. That's quite a bit in cattle, so that should work. Go back and look, and then you'll see that your ABCD 3A2 stopped at – well, it stopped at, it's supposed to be 84.90, and the low was 84, oh my gosh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> 84.05. It missed it by 15 points in cattle, which is $60, and of course, we've had a pretty big run up, and now we're making another 382, looks like this morning, putting it uh, right, no, I haven't quite reached that yet, but that's it. Uh, didn't not much you can do after that because you probably it had to well you have to shaded it you might have gotten feel I'm not even trading it so I just for answering that question so thank you for uh, 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 calling in now let's take a look here at the euro we're getting a lot of we're getting some comments not a lot but some comments about the euro and uh, it was also in one of those situations where it was a falling knife situation. And uh, here's where we are over the last few days here. We're just going to blow this up here. Uh, well, let's go to the 13-minute ch chart so we can see the pattern just a little clearer because this is what we were watching in all of these. You can see here we had this nice rally here. It rallied from 51, uh, so 50 pips, okay? Now, if this is a bad a bear market, it shouldn't be any higher than the 382 off of the high. So we're going to go through this 382 sequence one more time. There's your high right here. There's your first 382 pattern right here. Now you make a new low, 
So what you have to do is recalculate the 382 and you go back from your high again and down to this level right here and the 382 measures two. Oh, it misses it by uh, 54, misses it by 10 pips or uh, $100. So, and then down she comes and it still looks like it's going. We're getting close folks on a long-term uh, chart here on the uh, now see we're almost at the way we're at the 1.618 now just moving this over so they're fending big's going to happen it would probably be refresh uh, today uh there we go one month <clears throat> there we are there's where we are there's the 1.618 expansion right where we're trading right now there it is right now folks if you like a b c d's 1.618 there's a there's b there's c there's d let's just draw it in so the Sports fans over there in Guayman, Oklahoma can see us. That's where, look at that, folks. If you can't buy the euro here, you can't buy it anywhere. So, gee whiz, this is where you want to start seeing whether the market's going to turn or not. Boy, that's really a nice pattern, folks, for today's action. Let's just, just play for kicks and giggles. Let's just clean it up a little bit and play like we're technicians here and say okay there's the a b c d we're going to draw it in again so everybody can see it without too much trouble there's the a b there's the C D. now we're going to come back we're going to finish it up and see what it looks like so stay tuned folks Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs.
Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Oh boy, folks, buckle your seatbelts. This is where the old cowboy gets egg on his face. Somebody get one of those handy wipes ready for me because when they hang me this time, they're going to get me for about 300 bucks. This is the euro, folks, over the last year and a half, two years, okay? This is two years. We just took out the September low of last year, just a little while ago, and we took it out. That low came in at uh, 104477. And our low this time was 1044.62. We took it out by 12 pips. You see that ABCD pattern right here? Let's go back and see if we ever saw that again. My goodness, what is that? It's the same doggone pattern right here. Now, all we got to do now is we're going to see what this low was back here on the October. So if that's a 3A2, you know what to do. That's a poet. Don't know it, but it's not, so don't. That's it. So you've already you've taken out the low of last year right here by just uh, four pips. We haven't gone anywhere yet, but there's a 1.618 expansion right here. If we look at this on a smaller time frame, one hour, you will be able to see that 1.618. Oh, it's not even 1.618. It's actually 127, I believe. Let's just hit the old button here and get it done easily. There it is, 1.27, there it is. In other words, you take this ratio from high to low, there's your 1.27 right here, and uh, boy, there's your 1.618 off of the last three days. Boy, that's a, man, you'd have to give me, a, well, never mind, don't make any difference. That's what the life is all about. Okay, anyway, this looks like the euro's getting ready to rally. It might rally 10 pips, might rally three pips, might not rally at all, but looks like it's ready to rally here as we go through watching these things here this morning. Now, someone's asked to take a look at Apple. I don't think it's doing anything. It hasn't for the last few days, but I'm often surprised, but never in doubt. Here's Apple, probably up the limit today. It's up pretty good. Okay, now there is the 382 getting hit in the natural gas just now. So let's keep an eye on that. I've got to turn it off, so hold on just a second here. There it is right now. So we just turn that off right here, get it off, see what's going on. Check our euro or our crude oil. Uh, it's pulled back into the area here. So I'd raise my stop up into here to 69.93, uh, 93, uh, 97, 63. Now I'm only going to risk 10, 20 cents. So my stop would be here at 69.97. If it makes a new high from there, and this is short term, but you know, I make a living doing this sometimes. <laughs> sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So anyway, that's the that's a natural gas. I sold it at 32. My stop will be above here at uh, 36, uh, 36.50. So I'll put my stop in here so we see where we are and then we'll not worry about it. Had a good day. Did a little too much trading today, but they all worked pretty good except one. And uh, that was I did the uh, Dow Jones trade where we uh, went above that. Uh, wow, we got up to 81. This is good. Here's where we are now. In the, th This is the one I really like, folks. So turn off your machines right now because this is mother god and country stuff. There it is right now. We just hit uh, 2382 in the euro. Remember looking at this on the hourly, that was A, B, C, D. There's a number right there, 2382. And your stop's got to be above 2388. So you're only risking uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven pips or $350. That's in a 1.618 expansion, A, B, C, D, 618. If you can't do that trade, you can never do another one, in my opinion. But there's the 382 last night. Same as we were seeing here. You can see it misses the surround. You can see right there is around 2 in the morning. And I saw this a little late when I finally woke up because I'd been traveling and I said, uh-oh, this puppy is getting ready to rally, and by golly, it did, and then it backed off. You see, it had a pretty big run, went from 60 all the way back to 35, and then bang, 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 here we are again. And looking at this, you know, on the hourly, you can see that 
we're still in a minor downtrend. Well, it's more than minor, but look at that. Look at the bottom that we had there, folks. We pointed that out to you. A, B, C, D. These A, B, C, Ds have a tendency to work more than they fail, you know? Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But look at the right on the money, honey. That's what we're watching. So keep an eye on the old Russell to see how it's uh, going to be ending up right here. The bondolies, let's look at the treasury notes, folks, because this is the big market. And it's just, there's, there's trouble over there, folks. They're just, they just don't want to make these things to rally at all. Here's the treasury notes. As you can see here, to get this out of the way here. We had a nice ABCD move off of our bottom. There was our, you know, we were looking to be a buyer down there. We had the big ABCD. Didn't go anywhere, folks. Look at this. this is a five-day rally, and this is on the daily chart, and this is supposed to be a, some type of a rally off of that. Give me a break. This is a dead cat. We get below here. I don't care what the Fed does. There's big trouble because that means interest rates are going to be going a whole, whole, whole lot higher. I mean, that's a three-day rally that went absolutely nowhere. Look at this. Went nowhere. I mean, this nothing. In fact, it didn't. Did it match the last rally? Let's just double-check. There's your last rally up to there, and it certainly did. Move this over. Nope, it didn't even match the last rally. This is telling you, not acting good, boys and girls, so be careful. If you're going to do a mortgage, you better get it done because these rates are not going to be going lower. That's my two cents worth. Okay, question coming up about a trade I've been waiting on for two and a half months. Soybean meal. Here's soybean meal. We'll get it up here. Christmas soybean meal. We'll get it up here on the daily. I don't know if we're getting close to it or not, but not yet, but we are. Hold on one second. Here's where we are so far. We still want to get down there. I still think we're going to make it. We might make it tomorrow. Oh, no, that's 14 bucks. That's uh, quite a bit lower. So we hit this. Look at this little tiny rally day. Oh, my God. That's like this one, only worse. This just took four days. That took two days. Look at it on the hourly chart. It has all the bounce of a rubber ball with no air. There's your A, B, C, D, and look, still headed down. So keep looking at this December meal at 282 i really like that one but like i say sometimes i like ones that work and sometimes i don't like the ones that do work all right get this out of the way and get this out of the way and check and see what the money situation is if i have any left or not and hold on just a second we'll get it this out of the way window tile vertical so i can see everything that i have here we're doing this all day tomorrow folks so if you have a chance you can uh, join in and we'll see whether uh whether it's going to work or not. That's basically it. So uh, we uh, sold this at 32 and a half. Okay, we sold this at right where it's trading, right at 77. We got our stop above here. Uh, now we're backing off a little bit. So uh, my stop is still at 36 on this one. So we're going to keep that one working. And that's what we're paying very, very close attention to. All right. So those are the ones that I'm looking at here, folks. So move on here to the next one. People have asked me to take a look at uh, something I've never heard of before. Well, I've, I've seen it. This is BlackRock. Here's BlackRock, as you'll notice here. Still very, very strong. No signs of it ever churning back. And uh, hold on one second here. Oh, we'll be right back, folks. Stay tuned. 877-927-6648. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. 
All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, this is Bitcoin. If you remember, I thought Bitcoin was going to go to 93,000. It did. That was the 1.618 expansion, ABCD. The people in the cryptocurrency have not gotten the memo yet because I saw 98,000. I don't know if it hit 100 yet, but, you know, once it's supposed to be 94, when it went to 95, it was wrong. That's basically it, you know, because if it would, this is so accurate that it either stops exactly there or, you know, you, you did something wrong. So this one certainly didn't work. You know, a lot of these things I have don't work and you've got to remember to uh, pay very very close attention to them because when they do work it's great but when they don't and when they don't that's when you've got to uh, react of what we're looking this is black rock you can see here this is a privately well not privately held but boy these guys hold it close to the vest let's just do the weekly because you'll be able to see it's had a tremendous run here just like the rest of the stock market look it just keeps going higher and higher virtually uninterrupted forever and maybe even double forever well maybe not double oh well, we're getting big abcd back here somewhere up around 1300 probably let's just draw it in here and uh we have a family member that is a big executive there at black rock in San Francisco, and there it measures 1140, 1145. That's up another 145. It could easily do that if the market continues to go sharply higher, like it's been going. So let's uh, remind ourselves as we're watching these things to see what uh, see what's going on. Okay, all right. Now let's ask. Someone's asked a question about wheat, because you know we've been sort of friendly to wheat for a while. Put the Christmas wheat up here on the hourly basis and I think we've uh, reached some pretty good oh there we go here's where we are here right now and there's where our bottom was down here the other day here uh, right at the 382 here back on the 18th pull back right to the 382 right there there it is boom all pull back right here now if this is the case remember you make a higher high all right so you want to see I can tell you right now that it's uh a long way from being right on on the 382. Let's just get rid of it. So there's the first 382. Now we want to do the second one. We go down to this high right here, and we come up here, and it stopped exactly at the 50%. There's your 382. There's your 50%. And now 
we're getting ready to make a correction here in wheat because we had a big gap up. We've almost completed the fill. That tells us that we're going to get ready to see something like this in wheat. And this is the one you want to pay attention to, folks, because this is going to be a major buying opportunity if we get right in here. It's a little bit low. Let's call it right there. Down about 39 cents, down around 11 cents lower. Keep an eye on that wheat. Very, very interesting at that spot. It would give you some really good things to make a case for being long wheat because you wouldn't have to put your stop much below here. So you become a farmer for about 600 bucks. And, you know, these moves are, you know, pretty good. So you want to try to take advantage of them as you watch them through here. All right. Now we got the wheat out of the way here. And then we'll get this out of the way. And. And BlackRock out of the way, and we'll focus on the the uh, task at hand. And uh, we're watching the, the euro. We just, uh, excuse me, the uh, we just sold the uh, just sold this at eighty two. The uh, the Russell. It's a one point six one eight expansion. A B C D. And boy, trust me, you don't have to risk more than uh, eight cents on that because uh, which is four hundred dollars. So that's a pretty re relatively uh, uh, low risk trade as we. Watch them unfold here. I think this euro's bottoming, folks. I, I'm just giving you a heads up because that's a big ABCD. We took out the low of last year and didn't collapse. My goodness, why didn't it collapse? Oh, you know, one thing we didn't do, let's just do that right now because I'll forget if I don't. And that is look at the weekly on this to see if it looks like the dollar index did at that time. There's what we're watching, okay? Okay, now there's our – I want to show you the relationship. There's where we were right back here. We made a high right there, okay? Now we're below the 382. We've just taken out this low by just a hair. You see that little tiny bit there? There was no selling there. And euro is huge, folks. It's many times bigger than the stock market. So it took it out by five pips. It didn't do anything, so be careful. Remember, we warned you about this when everybody a month or so ago, when everybody was screaming at the U.S. dollar index going to get ready to collapse, and we said, oh, nebahachi, as uh, Tonto would say, means it never happened. And here's the long-term weekly on that, and you'll see there's what it did. You see how the euro is looking uh, like what the dollar index did, only upside down? There it is right there. See, so it did the same thing, took it out by a hair's breadth, and then woof, boom, away it went. You know, this is a, a big move, so pay attention to them, folks. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, and that's the key is don't take the losing trades. If we only knew what those losing trades were, right, boys and girls? That's the key. If we only knew what that was, get this out of the way here. <clears throat> and, uh, well, I don't think our uh, – Let's see what we got here. With our, we got natural gas here somewhere. Where is it? Uh, that's right where we sold it. So that's doing nothing. I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to keep our order in on the uh, uh, on the uh, hello operator. We sold it to 382. Our stop is right there. Can't do anything about it. Just let it wait and see if it's going to do it. These are short-term trades, but you know, hey, you do enough of them, you're going to realize they work about six out of ten times. Show me a baseball player that hits 600 or show me a golfer that wins six out of ten tournaments. Not going to happen. Anyway, there's what we're looking at uh, right up in here. So we want to watch that one as it starts to unfold. Two questions about stocks today. We're going to get, take a look at Caterpillar. Someone's asked about the old cat. And there it is right here. That should be making new highs, I would think. Uh, no, it didn't, did the other day, but not much since then. You can see it uh, did make a new high for sure. And, uh, oh, this is interesting here. Look at, see the ABCD pattern right here, folks? Watch this. I've got, I do so many of these that I see them in my sleep, those two hours a day that I sleep. There's your A, B leg right here. There's your C, D leg right there. Look at the low, boys and girls. Exactly 382 right there. That's it. Right there. Exactly 382. This is 50%. This one is 382 of the whole move here. And woo, away it went to the upside. And what it's doing now, uh, this is a weekly. So there was a pullback right here. So. Let's see. We're going to do this with the daily, too. Just get out of there, Chief. Just get out of there. There's your low. Last week's low, exactly 382. Let's go look at the uh, daily, and you'll see it jump out at you. There it is right there. There's that 382 we we're looking at. And boy, these 382s. Why well, I should start a class just on the 382s. 
382 is what you do. There it is right there. To the tick, folks. 2688. Uh, we got as high as uh, 300 and uh, woo, 420. $60 move. Had a break. And today we're rallying back a little bit. Wow, lots of gaps. This is probably a 382 as we speak. So let's move on to a 13-minute uh, chart and see where we are. Move this over like this and go to the high. And we'll double-check it and see where we are. Very close. It's 39. Two points away. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, got three trades, three trades working. We sold the uh, uh, Russell here at uh, 2382. Stop is 2386. We sold this right here at 77. Stop here is 7007. We sold this at uh, 32 and a half, and the stop here is at 36. So whether they work or not, I don't know. Sometimes they win, sometimes they lose. But uh, it's all about pattern recognition and risk control, folks. So keep it in mind that we're going to be doing a live show tomorrow. 
from noon and oh, excuse me from um, try it again folks from nine in the morning until noon three hours of this kind of stuff we've been pretty successful uh, we've had a few losing days out of the 14 but uh, we've had some big days too and with this kind of volatility my goodness this is what we really like to see and it doesn't always work that way but by golly it's got some at least a hope of uh, some things because these when, with big moves like this these patterns work extremely well folks and that's what it is it's only pattern recognition swing trading there is no holy grail it's not how much money you make it's how much money you don't lose and therein what you have to really pay close attention to so i want you folks to live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless and try to join us tomorrow if you can contact jake at tfnn.com and he'll sign you up and we'll have some fun and try to make a few bucks we'll certainly learn something all of us will including me so that's it we'll see you on the flip side uh, tomorrow at 12 noon and again at uh one o'clock excuse me uh let's see, two, yeah one o'clock which will be uh stan harley will be our guest tomorrow after we do the live trading at one o'clock p.m he'll be on at three o'clock o'clock p.m. is that correct yeah one hour after my regular show yeah so he'll be on at one o'clock p.m. i finish at uh, noon so let's let's see what happens we love you guys take it easy and may god bless Steve Rose.